Let me show you how to look at the alarm history. Really convenient if you're troubleshooting a problem. How long has it happened? Is it continuing to happen? Does it only happen in the morning? So on this machine, we're gonna press the alarms page. Here are the active alarms. But if I press the right arrow key, I can see the two active history. Now if I press page up, we're gonna keep going, we can look and see more. So if you back up a little bit, let's look. Here is a parameter that's changed on this date and time. Here's an overheat shutdown alarm. Now if we're going through here, let's go to a little bit newer machine. It's got a bigger screen, but it's still the same thing. So if here's the active alarm, right arrow key, page up, and we can see. Now we only have a few since this machine was turned on, but we can see it has an RTC alarm. Now this is the same on if you have a little LCD screen, CRT screen, or a big LCD screen. If you have the latest machine, if you press the alarms page, you're gonna go here to where you have these tabs on the top. So we can see active alarms, messages, or alarm history. Really, really helpful, say if you're troubleshooting a vector drive alarm, a servo drive alarm, how often does it happen? Is it related to when it turns on and turns off? Or is it only in the afternoon? Alarm history, remember, alarms pages, right arrow key, page up, and you can see the alarm and the date or parameters that have changed.